Marcella Ume was introduced to the sport of gymnastics at the age of six when her mother stopped by a building to ask for directions. The building happened to be Gymnastics Mississauga, where Stella would be enrolled in lessons one week later. Falling in love with the sport, Stella trained diligently for many years to become an elite gymnast who represented Canada in international competition from the late 80s until the mid-90s. The 1990 Commonwealth Games was her breakout competition. Originally not even slated to compete, she was added to the Canadian team at the last minute and helped them win the gold. And every day is Christmas for this young lady. Boy, does she have a lot of fun. Stella Ume. On May 27th, she'll turn 16, and she, she was telling us about it the other day, too. Stella is a lot of fun to watch, and she's an excellent athlete. She has a lot of originality in all her routines, and this is actually one of her best events. Beautifully done. Your Chanko in the layout position with a full twist, but the height off that vault was just incredible. At the 1992 World Championships, she made both the beam and vault finals, and at the Olympics later that year, she placed 16th in the all-around as the only Canadian gymnast to qualify in the 36-person field. Stella Ume of Canada, her vault. She's having an excellent meet so far in the Olympics. Very powerful gymnast. And this is a great event for Stella. She is very explosive. Watch this vault, your chinkle full twist. Beautiful. What? Beautiful vault. Wow. She finaled in floor at the 1993 World Championships. As she intends to do with the Commonwealth Games individual gold medal in the all around competition. Stella Bume. Long swing, full turn, another, so the combination is there, so was the catch -off. Not quite in handstand to the lower bar, but she's doing very little damage here to a medal chance. The second catch -off was fine, the dismount! Absolutely nailed, double twist, Stella Ume. And finished her elite career with the all-around title at the 1994 Commonwealth Games. She has to keep concentrating because this is a very technical vault. It's very important that she's precise in this round off, that her hands hit the horse correctly, and she's able to convert upwards. Ume continued to excel gymnastically in college, winning two floor titles and helping the UCLA Bruins to their first ever NCAA team title in 1997. Stella's former coach, the legendary Valerie Condos Field, agrees. You have a way of bringing movement to life that has never been seen before, especially in our sport. So thank you for all you did to help us put UCLA Gymnastics on the map as one of the most artistic athletic programs in the world. I could not be more proud of you, happy for you, your amazing family. Congratulations, Stella, I love you. Mwah. Throughout her four years at college, she won three golds, three silvers, and one bronze at the NCAA Championships. She was twice the Pac-12 Conference All-Around Champion. In 2012, Stella was inducted into UCLA's Athletics Hall of Fame. In 2000, after finishing her competitive career, Stella joined Cirque du Soleil Mystère in Las Vegas. And in 2002, she was named to the creation team and the original cast of Cirque's Varique as a triple trapeze artist. Stella continued to wow audiences in a diverse offering of roles while performing with the legendary circus company for over a decade.
She was cast in the Canadian docuseries Fire Within, which earned two Gemini and two Emmy Awards, respectively. Mississauga recognized Stella with the 1994 Co-Female Athlete of the Year, and in 2002, she was inducted into the Mississauga Sports Hall of Fame. Currently, Stella lives in Australia with her husband and daughter, where she teaches yoga and kids acrobatics. Having not completely left the stage, Stella can be found on stages throughout her home state, entertaining people as a stand-up comedian. Welcome to Mississauga's Legends Row, Stella Ume. Stella Ume.